Okay, it's got a little different type of project for you today. Um, I'd rather be working on knives or fire steels or something like that, but I figure I better tackle this one. This is my um, son's Jeep. And I guess I have to back up so that you can actually see it all because he has to buy the jacked up crazy looking thing. So it's his pride and joy. As a matter of fact, so much that he, he's afraid to drive it because it might break. He drives his other car. But, I was walking by it the other day. I don't know if you can see or not. But his little baby's got a problem. So, I thought I'd better tackle that so I can get it the hell out of my driveway. Anywho, we're going to fire up the forge. I bought myself some steel. And we're going to build a little bracket to fit around that sucker and hopefully weld it in place. So that's kind of a twist on kind of a twist on some of the things I normally do. So we'll put old school into car repair right now, no doubt. All right, stay tuned. We'll see what happens. All right, I got the thing up on jack and jack stands. There's the damage right there. pretty scary to me but I'm hoping to uh, we'll run a plate along the bottom here and then we'll uh, weld two side gussets on best we can we got a little bracket right here on the back we'll figure it out we'll do what we can with it anyway All right, we got it cleaned up a little bit it's kind of really nasty looking there so I'm not extremely hopeful for the longevity of this repair, but it'll certainly me better than it is now. Um, I think I think so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bottom plate. I'm going to get a bottom plate bent um, around these protrusions here, and then around here, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and weld on a 90, um, a gusset, a vertical gusset, to. Uh, add that vertical strength. I'm not sure I can put one on the other side and I probably should but there's just too much stuff in the way. So I think what I might do is uh, take the other piece I have left over, weld it onto this um, maybe at a 90 coming out at an angle just to provide a little bit of twist stability into it. Um, I'll work that out when I get there. Um, at this point if I get an angle on it I think I'll be happy. I think it'll be strong enough for as long as this truck will last probably um, and then if I can go ahead and just add some more support I think that'll be good so I got the forge going I got the uh, bottom plate in there and I'm uh, I got it marked for the two there's two there's a bracket that's bolted on the bottom of the frame I don't dare take it off who knows what's gonna happen so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put some dimples in there to get around that it won't cause any problems whatsoever and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so I traced the contour of the frame onto the, the uh, vertical piece and put that on the anvil. So I'm going to go ahead and try to bend this piece to that contour so I can keep the three inches, the three inch uh, height. Then I'm, what I'm going to do with what I have left is uh, I just kind of put a groove down through this. Uh, it's almost a foot long piece. And uh, I'll bend that at uh, about a 90 degree and I'll weld that on the side right where the uh, fracture point is as a gusset um, to uh, cor like corrugated to add um, some stability since I'm not wrapping around to the other side and hopefully that'll provide enough vertical or lateral uh, stability um, I'm either gonna take this one piece and bend it or I might split um, split the uh, smaller pieces and put the uh, full length or a couple of gussets on here or uh, corrugations. So that's the plan. I know it's half-assed, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do sometimes. Uh, I may be stupid. We're gonna give it a try anyway. Well, I'm not trying to upset the steel to make that curve. I'm trying to actually bend the steel. So basically, taking a three-inch wide piece of flat stock and trying to do a bit of a scroll, part of a scroll. Um, it might be impossible. We're gonna find out. That's for sure. As soon as it gets hot. <laughs> Right, we're going to try the steepest part of this curve right here. Let's see if we can get a bend out of it at all.
little bit more. bad I think that'll do and I gotta bring this end up I certainly uh, was stupid in thinking I could just bend that but like I did and I lost probably damn near half an inch in height but all the steels there and that's what's important I think um, so I'm gonna go ahead and taper this other side up get this part done job you never have the right time for it. Oh crap. Actually that don't look too bad right there. There it is. Hopefully shaped to the frame. Let it cool down and we'll give it a try. I feel like I'm shoeing a horse here. But if I put that in there, I think that's pretty damn close to what I need. So I got that little protrusion right there, that bracket. I don't want to frig with it. It's still hot. I don't want to frig with it because who knows what kind of mess I'll open up there. But I think that'll work good here goes right to the contour of the frame and I think with those um, corrugated pieces I'm gonna put in there I think I'm gonna be good so let's get that bottom dimpled and bent uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm putting a couple of dimples in to, uh, to compensate for that protrusion I'm just gonna set where I want the dimple to be over the hardy hole I'm gonna use this drift just to mark the spot before I lose it in the heat this one right here. I'm going to use this piece of oh, that's all. Shit. All right, back to the heat again. Damn it. Now right, we'll try this again. Get that lined up over the hardy hole. And just dimple it with this all thread. Punched it right there. There we go. And about there. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. You can see that or not, but made a couple of dimples. We'll go see if they line up right. Believe it or not, they're perfect. So they work right around whatever those two nuts are or those two bolts are sticking out of the bottom frame, some bracket. So I'm gonna go mark this for the bend and I'll put the bend in. Bend in this one. 
does need to be is that. That's too much. A big enough hammer for the job, that's for sure. That don't look too bad at all. Put that up in there. I like it. I like it, I like it. It's perfect. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Talk about old school. But once you get her in the right spot, it's pretty damn good. Not bad at all. It'll make a nice solid frame. We got a bit of a gap there, but I think uh I think we'll be okay with that. I like it. Let me get those cross pieces cut. Alright, so what I decided to do with this corrugated piece, especially because I ended up stretching that um, that vertical piece a little bit, instead of using this as one uh, corrugated triangle, I'm going to go ahead and split this in half and actually cut it. So I got it half ground, I'll just finish it up once it's hot. And then, you see I put grooves in both sides here. I'll fold those over at a 90 degree and that'll uh, weld those end to end. That'll be my, uh, my uh, corrugation, my little extra support to help it last another month anyway. Alright, I'm hoping once I get it hot enough that I can just bust that center piece off. Damn grinding wheels didn't work as well as I hoped, so I'm just hoping that this will get on there like that. And there you have it. We got the two pieces, now I gotta bend those at a night. Alright, we'll go for this first bend. I hope this works. Might take a couple of tries. Ah, oh, it's gonna take more than that, son of a bitch. Alright, so I was stupid before. I didn't even think I'm thinking I'm gonna bend it over this edge. I got that corner right there. Put it right there with the cross pin right down the line. So I'm an idiot. What are you supposed to do if you're an idiot, huh? It's not the being of the idiot that's the problem, it's the not knowing you are. So we're going to make some nice angle in out of this eventually. Get the other side heated up and bent and we'll go from there. So, you get the idea. Going for a 90, I mean, I get 90, but it's just for support, so any shape is good. Alright, we'll get started on the second one. What I'm doing, I'll try to get as good at 90 as I can. I'm going beyond 90, and then I'll bring it back. I think that's the best way to do it. That way I can get it straightened up the way I want it. And then I think coming back for more than 90 will work. So I'm going to go like something, whoops, something like that. And then I'll bring it back. I don't know if you can see that or not, but... That's what I'm going for. A couple of overlapping gussets. Corrugated. On the uh, piece. Hopefully you can see that. I can't tell. My eyes are not working right now. Got no glasses on. So, I think that's as good as we're going to make it. We, uh, we'll get it welded up and see what it looks like. Now, to anybody that knows how to weld, that probably looks like shit. For me, this is the best kind of welding I've done in a long time. And I can't, uh, I can't even begin to describe how well this Harbor Freight welder works. Um, 90 amp <clears throat> flux core welder. Um, just unbelievable. Uh, compared to the stick welder I used to use. You can watch it work. That old uh, 80 amp stick welder, non-inverted I used to have. <laughs> this would have been an X-rated uh, 
movie. And again, it may not be the best looking weld in the world, but it's a weld and it's in pretty good, pretty good structure, I think, right there. For an idiot that doesn't know what he's doing, it's a great tool to have. Ain't no beautiful stack of dimes, but sucker works. Alright, I ran a weld all along the outside. I think what I'm going to do, because I have room, the frame is curved. I'm going to go ahead and run a really tight weld along the inside just for extra strength. Alright, so I lied. What I'm going to do before I put that weld in, I'm just going to go ahead and do a dry fit. And that just, it just fits really well right there. I like that. I think that's a good spot for it. And I think I'll be in good shape here. Uh, and if I need to, I can go ahead and weld another piece right on top of that. But it's got to be better than it was. It doesn't rock. It sits nice and firm. And I got a nice long weld I can do here and around the bottom. So uh, hopefully that'll be enough to, to hold that sucker for a little while. All right, let me put that weld on the inside. Well, as is the case now, I know this is the ugliest friggin' thing you ever saw, but I'm telling you with these, I think it hurt my hand, I think I might have broke it actually, ouch. Um, with these corrugated pieces on here, there's a tremendous amount of strength now. However, if you look down through there, I got a bit of a fishtail right there. Huh, isn't that sweet? Some bitch. I don't know why I didn't see that. But that's just too far away to weld now, so now I get to, I gotta heat this whole freaking thing up in the forge and bring that end back over where it belongs. I cannot believe I made that mistake. Actually, I can believe I made it, but I really wish I had. So, time to fire the forge up again. Old school, man. Now, let's see what we can do with this thing, man. Let's see if we can get that little bit of that bend out of there. I'm gonna do that. Hit it this way. Oh yeah, that worked. Hell yeah, that worked. Oh, yeah. A little bit more, I think we'll be in good shape. Things heavy. Oh, I want to go far there. We'll bring it back. I think that'll work. It's coming in now a little bit, which I think is good for what I'm after. We'll do a fit and see what it looks like. All right, that's where I want it. It's in there. We got a blanket covering like where the gas tank is and some of the lines up here and I've been spraying that down trying to keep everything wet in there. The last thing I want to do is blow my ass up which is a distinct possibility but I think it's time to try to weld that son of a bitch. If you don't think I'm scared you're crazy. Alright here goes nothing boys and girls here goes everything. If I blow up I hope the tape lives that'll be worth something. So I just tack this right in here. And went boom. That's a good tag. I like that. Let's see if I can tag underneath here without burning it. Yep. It's on fire yet. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. One more tack up here. Hold it. 
Alrighty, I'll come back when I got the sucker done. Well, I overheated my welder, so we gotta wait for it to cool down, but we got a lot of welding in. I know it looks like shit. I can't help it. I don't know shit about it. But it looks like it's stuck, some of it. <laughs> so, I got the bottom over here to do still. And um, I guess we'll give it a sledgehammer test and see what happens. I mean, even if a tenth of the weld stuck, maybe 25% of it, um, I think it's going to be enough strength to take care of this thing for a while. I don't know. It's what you got to do when you're freaking poor, man. And there she is. It is the ugliest welding job I think anybody's ever seen. I was able to get up underneath there and I got a shitload of weld, so I just hope some of it's stuck. Crossed up all the way down through and back across. So, oh, I don't know. Time will tell. I guarantee it's better than it was before I started. There's no doubt about that, but there you have it. I don't know, it took me a long time to do it, but a, a hand forged frame patch with corrugation for reinforcement. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, hey, that's a YouTube video anyway, right? Ciao.